there? Well, the old mailbox is brimming over today, Laban. Oh, goodness gracious, we've gotten the wildest mail. <laughs> Hey, and we, we got to tell everybody, I hope you'll forgive us and be patient. We mailed out over a thousand letters this past weekend uh, answering uh, mail from all over the country. Maybe and, one of them is yours. And uh, we hope you've gotten it by now. And don't give up. Uh, we've gotten a little bit better system now of answering the mail, so we'll keep trying as long as you keep writing. And please do write because we'd love to get your ideas and especially your recipes. We're getting loads and loads of recipes and I'd like to come into your kitchen. Oh, some of you people are nuts. It's wonderful, <laughs> but we've gotten some crazy recipes and matter of fact, we've gotten so many that next year we may do maybe one recipe from you viewers uh, every week. Oh, I thought you were going to say we were going to go in different people's kitchens <laughs> every week. Oh. I thought that would be kind of interesting. Now, if I, I find new remote <laughs> get up we've got. <laughs> now listen, we got this letter from Lola Gilly in Pound, Virginia. Pound, Virginia. And she says, uh, she talks about cooking all this stuff, but uh, she says she's sorry she can't be here when we eat it. Said, Larry's chicken dumplings, they were the largest ones I ever saw. They sure did blow up. Big as Larry, well. I think you are the greatest cook. Guess I'll hush now, keep cooking, Lola Gilly. And she mentions that she had a son named Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought maybe his name was Dumpling. I wasn't sure. But anyway, hey, look, we got a book in the mail. Oh, yes. From the person that wrote it, as a matter uh -huh. of fact. This is called Mailbox Quail Box. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. And it's from Margaret Legum. Mm. Or, or Legum. Legum. We're not sure how she pronounced that. Says, sorry, you're off again in our area. Several people have written regarding this. Oh, that's my letter to her. Uh, <laughs> she says, I read this note on the back of your response to one of my fan letters, just for point of reference. She says, Mama Quail does make guest appearances. And this entire little book, which it was indeed written by her, she's from up in Alexandria, Virginia, uh, is all kinds of little animal critter stories. <laughs> What is, you, that, is that now, it? Yeah. Is that Today all we're cooking some crazy recipes. Now, last week the viewers messed us up. They did. They those re that was a mess. Did they mess week. us up, or Do did you we know, mess their no, recipes up? I, I had a pan of that cheesecake stuff I made last week that sat in my ice box all week. Does and it, it still run? No, no, no. It it com after it was in there for the entire week, it finally set up right before the mold started on it, and I threw it away. <laughs> Oh, it's unbelievable. Well, now, today, wh what recipe are you doing? Well, I'm doing some kind of neat uh, sandwiches, hot uh, toasted sandwiches on top of the stove. With it's, it's a toasted omelet and cheese concoction. And <laughs> I'm doing a cake. Now, let me tell you right before we start, if anybody out there laughs, we'll come through the camera and smack you. I know you're supposed to laugh at this show, but this cake, <laughs> we did it because we couldn't believe it. I'm making a Milky Way cake, oh. and it's not Milky Ways glued together either. Well, now I, I know what the problem was that you had the first time you made it. What you, you've got was to it? take those out of the wrappers. <laughs> That's the big problem. Let's well, go let's over, go over to the and kitchen. And see what we got over here. Well, I'm frying some fine uh, peppers. And they've been on the stove so long that they hardly resemble peppers, but that's what they are. Well, uh, gentlemen, who sent in this recipe? Uh, oh, this recipe was sent in by Dolly Mullins of Wise, Virginia. Oh, well, I guess if you're wise, you'll write it down. And uh, I'll just tell you right off the bat that I, she calls us scrambled eggs and peppers with cheese on white bread sandwiches, etc. limited. Along. And I'm getting ready to fry along with the, you, you take a whole uh, uh, green pepper, and you're supposed to cut them in strips, but I just, uh, I didn't like the recipe it. right, and I diced it up accidentally. What can I tell uh -huh. you? That's not strips, and they don't look like much, do they? But they anyway, don't even look green. I'm do doing, they? no, they really don't. They, they didn't come, <laughs> uh, they didn't come out of the garden good this year. I don't know what it is. Uh -huh. And I'm going to put some onions in I there, too. I think I smell a false <laughs> lie. That's what I, but I won't get into it. I think we've been bamboozled, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make substitutions mm -hmm. here. In the well, while you cut that shape. up, let me All right, go right hold ahead. forth on Teresa Watkins' Milky Way cake. Now, there's some stuff left out of this recipe. I just have to warn you up front oh, and in no. advance. Oh, no. Well, first of all, you have to open up eight regular-sized Milky Way bars. 
<laughs> so nothing else will do. Right. And you put them in a pan along with uh, the margarine. Now, the problem is, I think there's uh, some sugar that's been left out of this recipe because down in the directions it says cream the sugar and the remaining butter. So I'm assuming, I am inferring as it were, that you put one stick of butter down in the uh, saucepan to uh, melt and that uh, you use the other stick to cream. And since it, cre it says cream with sugar, I'm inferring that you have to add some sugar. And uh, I'm going to pretend that you're supposed to add a cup of sugar. Now it takes a good little while to, to unwrap all these Milky Ways because you have to have eight Milky Way candy bars down in this pan, and they have to be melted down. I don't know why, I guess you could melt them up if you wanted to. But this is about as interesting as Larry's. I don't understand this. I'm this. This recipe says take an onion and slice it in half. Uh-huh, you didn't do that. One medium, I did. One medium-sized onion no. cut in half and sliced. What does that mean? Cut in half Cut and in sliced. half that way and then sliced so that you have half size slices. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's all right. Well, what difference does it make if they're going to be fried? I don't fried? know. That's, I didn't write these recipes. We just opened the mail up and there they were okay, one day. Okay, well, we'll just like the way you, to the recipe. Like the way we were born. They opened up the door the one day and there we were. I just don't understand, but I'm going to do it just the way it says to do it. And throw them back in there. Because they're all going to fall apart anyway, uh -huh. aren't they? Yep. Do, don't onions fall apart yep. when you fry them on top of the stuff? I reckon there's a reason for that, but it is not ours to, <laughs> yeah. to know. All right, now they're all my Milky Ways. I don't think this thing is on. Now, here's the other stick of butter and I gotta have some sugar. Uh, Is there some sugar around? Uh, huh? I got it. There it is. Sugar. Thank you. I didn't know you cared. I don't. <laughs> Never have. <laughs> Never will. That's about a cup of sugar. Whoops. Wrong one. That goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good save. <laughs> now you have to cream them. Do what? You have to cream this mess. It'd be better if we had a real mixer. But we don't. All right, that'll be enough. Let me check over here. Oh, yeah, I thought I smelled something burning, and it was my bar is melting. Now, also, you have to have two and a half a cups of plain flour. That's not quite two. And a half a teaspoon of soda. All right, this is that famous Arm and Hammer soda. Oh, it's he's that, that, that guy that goes yeah, over there to Russia, goes to all, Russia the all the time. Arm and right. Hammer. Now, you have to add to this four eggs. <laughs> now, uh oh, Maureen is signifying to us. What? Oh, move, move it down. down, yeah. Is that better? I thought she was pointing at something on her... Uh, well, well, you know, they, <laughs> they, they signify to you in so many ways here at the station. All right. One needs a book sometimes to keep up to it. Something pepper to taste. Now, this is your creamed sugar. Oh, they were signifying again back behind the cameras, but they weren't signifying anything I think we could talk about on the air. 
Now this is the eggs and our butter and our sugar. And you have to really do this good. What? You have to do this real good. How's your onions and peppers going? Well, they're real fine. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna take egg, eight eggs <laughs> and just crack them into a bowl. And we're gonna stiff whip them here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, them onions is going real good and green peppers is real aromatic. They also smell pretty good. And that's a miracle, considering they were frozen just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I'm going to get this story out eventually. And I'm adding my flour and my soda to my mixture now, alternating with one cup of buttermilk. Yeah. <laughs> or one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. I'm taking my eight eggs now, and I'm whooping up on them. Because we're gonna make a fine, we're gonna, there you are, we're gonna make a fine <laughs> egg uh, hoo ha here in a couple of seconds. Isn't that pretty? Mmm, you know that's gonna be good. Just as soon as these onions get a little waxier, I don't think we want them raw. Oh, that's all. I'm not gonna do any more right now. Let me add a little more buttermilk. This is one of our more exciting programs. Sure is. Boy, this is wonderful. Look <laughs> at it. How's my candy doing? Well, you got to watch this stuff. It'll go on you real fast. No, it's okay. Is it? Yep. Oh, you know what? What? I think it's almost <laughs> ready. Keep your mouth out of it. Someone will get <laughs> haughty about that, I guess, in uh -huh. a couple of minutes. That look, doesn't that look nice? Starting to do its thing in there. They're starting to get a little. Looks like a bunch of candy bars melted up, doesn't it? <laughs> a vivid picture if I ever saw one. Now you're supposed to do these onions and peppers until they're crisp on the edges, it says. So we're continuing that process. They're starting to get just a little bit brown here and there. And as soon as they brown up just a little more, I got the thing on real high hot. Hot, hot, high, hot. You remember high, hot? Oh, yes. He was a Cambodian refugee. Oh, was he? Yeah. I noticed he never spoke much English. I never mm -hmm. knew why. Yeah, that's going right along. That's something, isn't it? I, I believe they're done. You think so? Yeah. You mean you want me to do something else? Yeah. All right, what we're going to do now is going to add the omelet part of it. There we go. That's going to make up a fine, fine omelet. This says to stir it. So what it says is pouring eggs and stirring constantly with a fork. Excuse me. <laughs> stirring constantly with a fork until that mess is ready. May want to put a little salt and pepper in at this point. Look, Ma, cooking with two hands. <laughs> Can they see down in this thing? Isn't that attractive, boys and girls? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly well. Right. <laughs> and you know it does. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm still stirring constantly. It says for about three minutes. It's still at the runny stage. <laughs> Nobody likes an egg like that. But it does look like it's gonna be real good. I've got that on pretty pretty hot, by the way, so that we'll take up the excess moisture. About three minutes you do this until it's set pretty good. I don't like eggs to be real hard, and we're gonna cook it a little more after we get it inside the sandwich, so you may wanna leave it just a little bit, a little bit, uh, light and with these candy bars you do have to keep stirring oh i think i better get moving here yes 
Now while that's doing its thing, it's going to have to sit. Turn that thing off for me, will you? All right. We'll just let the thing set there. We're going to take eight slices of bread, and we're going to slice. Uh, we're going to put uh, butter on one side uh, of each of these, because we're going to put this part down on the on the grill here in a couple of minutes. Don't you see? And don't you know? Okay, now Larry, let me show everybody. I'm going to add these eight mel melted candy bars and the stick of margarine. We didn't use butter; we used margarine down in the bowl. And woe be unto the dishwasher that has to clean this pan out today. Thanks. Is that you, huh? Is that you? Yeah, well, that's, that's the way it goes. Just a matter of time until you had to do something. Yeah, well, you know that guy that we did have, and he was covered all up one day washing these dishes and was grossed out. And, Somebody asked him why he did it, and he said, what, give up show business? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, watch this while he's doing that. All right, we have put some butter on one side of a piece of white bread, and I have now put that down in here on heat, and now on top of each piece of bread, you're gonna put your favorite slice of cheese, and then you're gonna go over here and cut this into quarters, and you're going to put some of that there on each one. Isn't that attractive? That's pretty. A little bit on there. Excuse me, I'm just uh, rushing through this a little bit. And then, mm, and then, and then, put and some then more along game, game Jones. Jones. Top each with a slice of cheese and some more of the mixture. Here's some more of the cheese, and here's some more of the mixture. As you can see, it's a real neat job that I'm doing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put <laughs> remaining bread butter side up on top of that. Yeah. How you coming, Labe? I'm fine. I just had a, a major a, accident. A, a sack of pecans just blew up on me. <laughs> <laughs> a nut attack. All right. Now, here we go. Now, we're going to put that there. Isn't that pretty? That's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. Now, cut that thing up so that it's right hot. It's supposed to be able to, supposed <laughs> to take a little piece of drop of water. And if it shoots across there, you know that thing's hot enough. Cut that thing on high and let's roll one time. Now, what you're supposed to do is take a lid, a heavy lid. So I would suggest you take a lid and put something on top of it. And that'll hold that down. supposed to squish that down uh -huh. and melt that thing. And you gotta be very careful. <laughs> That's about a couple of pounds yeah. on there. Yeah. Maybe I better take the yeah. plastic off of it. You don't want that plastic to Boy, burn. that's all we need is to have that let loose. Now, I've added a cup of pecans to my batter. Yeah. And that's off, hopefully. And it's all done. There it is. Boy, you know, once that egg gets into those pans and sets like that, you can't get it out. And you have to cook this baby <laughs> for an hour and 10 minutes at 325 degrees. Well, let's look at our ingredients. Yeah, our let's recipes. see those ingredients, Laban. <laughs> well, let's see. We'll see those ingredients. For the Milky Way uh, cake, are. eight there. Milky Way candy bars, two sticks of butter margarine, four eggs, two and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of soda, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk, and a cup of pecans, and I added a cup of sugar. Blair? Excuse me, I've turned over my stuff. My scrambled eggs, you can see you need eight eggs and uh, a whole bunch of pieces of bread. <laughs> <laughs> and vegetable oil, a large green pepper cut up in strips, I'm and to get medium onions cut in half and sliced. <laughs> I'm going to get this thing done if it kills me. Now, 
eight, beat those eggs up, put them in there and make yourself up a whoop up on them, make yourself a fine egg mixture and, and then you put all that layered on the sandwiches and put it down in there and put a lid on top of it, smush it down real good and through so the, the cheese and everything. And Woo! through the magic of television, my cake has already baked up. It is just gorgeous. Well, it is pretty. <laughs> Uh-huh. I think it's lovely. It is. It's as pretty as any cake I've ever seen. Turn it around so they can see the slice of life. See, there it is. Ooh, well, you pretty Bly, like nuts in there and everything? Yeah. It's gorgeous. I'm going to head out for the table. Well, uh, as the last show in the series, uh, we thought we would let everybody see our wonderful crew that uh, helps us so much on the air by reminding us what we're doing wrong. Do we have to do that? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, okay. So uh, let's turn the cameras around and show our friends on the crew. Well, here they come. Well, I'm, yeah. Oh, that's our director, as you can see. <laughs> Dave Ureno, yeah, there he is. Wonderful and, uh, guy. He's just working on that board. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He's top notch, he top door. switches. We got him from CBS. Right. And, uh, oh, and over in the corner, I don't know whether he works here or whether Mikey he's just Carroll. passed out there. Uh, oh, and he's the one that makes sure our microphones yeah. are turned off when we say those bad that's words. Right. Oh, here comes camera person Maureen. Now, she's the one that's always yelling in the background uh -huh. to give us instructions on what to do. And because, she right uh, now was trying to screw her camera up so that it could be a little taller. <laughs> and there's, there's Jim, Jim. Hammerstrong. Yes, indeed. Jim uh, is a good person. Unfortunately, uh, that's the wrong end of the camera. Uh, and there's, there's Hutch. Hutch, Hutch is uh, uh, on riding camera number one most of the time, except when he falls off occasionally. <laughs> he does that and doesn't make it through a show. Now, and way he, up in the ceiling, on, on one of those ceiling shots, a very lovely and semi-voluptuous Carol Jennings. <laughs> 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 Carol's as sweet as, as this cake is here. Look at her. She says, sweet. yeah. And at, there uh, is our friend uh, Tom and Cannell. our custodian. Yes, uh, the maintenance crew. He is cleaning that <laughs> cooking sheep set. I'm telling you, you can eat off the floor, and that's what most of us do down here. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, me. Well, now, let's see. And all of our engineers in the back, okay? We're yes. real sorry we didn't get to get you on television. They seem to always get left yes. out, but it was a whole bunch of other people behind. Those people were behind us. Look at this. Didn't this this oh, did come out looking like pretty. Despite the Here fact the that I hustled the toasted cheese sandwiches, uh, really which we can actually pick pretty. up and eat. You can. You can. Mmm. 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 -mm. They're real pretty, and they're real loving, and they're delicious, and they are good. I can't believe it. I rushed those things through that fast. <laughs> well, let me try the cake. See if I can cut the cake. Well, I tell you what, it smells like Milky Ways. Mm hmm But it tastes like three musketeers. <laughs> it's a little dry. But it's except for that, it is really You very, probably very good. could, uh, I cooked this in one of those uh, pans that has the dark lining to it, mm -hmm. and it probably cooked a little bit too long and a little bit too much on the sides. If I did it again, I wouldn't cook it quite as long. I, I'd start testing to see if it was done a little sooner. Yeah, it's just a tad little bit overdone. And you and could a put, dry, I think a caramel great. glaze on this would be great, mm. too. You know it would be. It would be fabulous. But it is a real interesting, <laughs> unusual cake. And it's uh, a lot, it's real easy to make. This is another one the kids could make. Well, this person certainly knows how to put a sandwich together. Boy, I, isn't this a delicious she sandwich? She knows how to put a sandwich together. And I, I want to tell you, you now we laughed when I was doing it because I was rushing around and I did forget my, my green pepper and we had mm -hmm. to fish one out of the freezer. But even with uh, bringing it back to life, as we did, it does have real good flavor. And listen, mm. we just want to thank all of you for your support again this year and uh, all of your letters. Uh, we enjoy hearing from you, even the crabby ones, and the, the finger lady and the other, the lady in Richmond and all those other people. And uh, we appreciate everything everybody writes us and keep writing and let us hear from you and send those recipes to us and maybe we'll do one of your recipes next year on Cooking Cheap. And we're looking forward to uh, season number six. Seven. Those of you, seven. 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 Those seven. of you in the front office out right. there. <laughs> Work, work hard. That's right. We want to thank our sponsors and everybody. And it's just been great. Right. The we only have, thing that's missing is a staff party, and maybe we can work that up. Maybe we will. Do you have any of that English grog left oh, over? Oh, I, from I, I, I could season? whip up another batch of that, <laughs> another bowl of that. We could do it in a minute. Watch your mouth. Okay, we've got to get out of here. We do. And we're going to. And we'll be back next season. Soon. 
real soon. Or in reruns this summer. <laughs> Back <laughs> summer. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.